please start the applause now and welcome to the stage the wandering Welshman, Lloyd Langford! Hello. As is tradition, the high energy comedian to close. Claire described me as the wandering Welshman. That is incorrect. This will be the limit of my movement. <laughs> this is me really fucking wiggling about. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> so it's good to be here. Uh, my uh, partner uh, keeps uh, starting hypothetical arguments with me. Yeah, we were in bed together the other night and uh, she turned to me, she said, uh, would you still love me if tomorrow I woke up and overnight I'd grown a full beard? <laughs> I was like, I'd love you exactly the same, but the beard might take a period of adjustment. <laughs> She's like, what? I said, well, you know, you're in like a long-term relationship with someone, there are certain things you factor in as possibilities. I don't know, unemployment, illness, maybe even infidelity. But you suddenly go in like <laughs> Sort of instant Hagrid. I never really anticipated it. <laughs> then she said to me, so would you mention it? I said, I'm gonna be absolutely frank with you. If we woke up tomorrow morning, I looked over at you, and overnight you'd grown a full beard. That would go to the very top of my agenda. <laughs> no one's looking over the next morning and going, fuck, maybe I better wait until after breakfast. I'm gonna need some toast in my tum dum before I tackle this one. And then, like, breakfast takes too long, you're like, oh, it'll be awkward to bring it up now. <laughs> Just gonna have to style it out for the remaining 40 years. <laughs> then she said, how would you mention it? I was like, I'd ask you what you thought of my facial hair arrangement and hope you'd follow up with the same question. <laughs> I don't care about hair on a woman, you know, or another person, it's none of my business, you know? Like, your body, your choice. You do what you want with your body and no one else's opinion matters, you know? Like, even a monobro. I think, go for it, you know? I believe what God has joined together, no man shall pull asunder. <laughs> but if your partner woke up and suddenly looked like Karl Marx, you know? <laughs> it would be difficult. Then she was in a mood with me. I was like, oh, fuck, all right, I gotta, I gotta try and win this argument. I said, I got a question for you. Would you still love me if tomorrow morning I woke up overnight, I just grown a big old pair of titties? <laughs> Real sort of wobbly, sort of 1970s style jugs. Would you still love me then? She said, yes, I'd love you exactly the same because I'm not a narrow-minded individual. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck am I losing this argument? <laughs> She's angry at me at my reaction to a beard she doesn't have. <laughs> I thought I'd try and win the argument. You know, I'm quite competitive. I said, oh, I forgot to say there's a problem with my breasts. <laughs> as well as being very unwieldy, there's more. <laughs> they uh, leak uh, <laughs> constantly. Malt vinegar. Very rare medical affliction. 
there's a sort of perpetual dribble of uh, vinegar out of the nub ends. I believe that's the term. <laughs> I would use those uh, breast uh, feeding pads, but they would soon become overwhelmed. <laughs> would you still love me then, knowing there was a constant production and aroma of vinegar about my person? <laughs> she thought for a second, she went, yeah, if I had chips. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't win. <laughs> I'll let you into a secret. Uh, they told me I had to do eight minutes, and uh, I thought that routine there would take like four minutes, and uh, it's taken more like six. <laughs> so uh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've got a four minute routine now I have to do in two minutes. And I'm talking the fastest I've ever talked. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do half the routine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just for the listeners at home, that was someone trying to start a round of applause. <laughs> rather than a fight breaking out. So I, I got my, uh, I got my uh, sperm tested. Yeah. Um, oh, by a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Not like a passing hobo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now where's my 50 bucks? Anyone ever uh, had their sperm tested? No? <laughs> uh, I'll talk you through it. <laughs> you get to the clinic, you know, and uh, there's a corridor. Uh, there's a, a row of uh, four men. Um... Yeah. Oh, they were also there to get their sperm tested. <laughs> they weren't there to help me out. <laughs> This is gonna be the best goddamn sperm test of all time. <laughs> We're gonna crack four-man team on this. <laughs> I reckon we'll have you finish it within the minute. <laughs> one each on the nipples. <laughs> one on the bum hole. One work in the shaft. I think I've already run out of time. <laughs>